So Mike Conley, James Harden, Jalen Brown, Larry Johnson, and Bill Russell. Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the Jams. For the Boston Celtics, it's been a bumpy road as of late. Out of sorts in four of the last five games. Oh, I've lost but four of my last five? Damn. Here tonight. Jams, Celtics. They'll be right oh, I think I lost three table. in a row. All right, we gotta get we gotta get off the Schneid, man. Smart shots, strong defense. Stop turning the ball over. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. Ooh. Alongside Craig Anthony. Jazz at three and fourteen. With David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. How about those rookies? Time now to check out the Rookie of the Year race, ranking the league's best young rookies here midway through the season. While not in the top five currently, he's definitely on the radar screen and been playing some very solid basketball. And he's had a decent amount of success here in his first year. A few of the top guys in the rankings have kind of outperformed him, but he's lived up to the reasonable expectation. Hey, top 10, considering the strength of the rookie class, that's an accomplishment. But we're midway through the season. Let's see how he finishes. The starters for the Utah Jazz. You've got Conley on out there with Johnson. Then it's Harden, and it's Russell in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Boston, Nowitzki is out there with Porzingis. Then it's Tatum, then there's Hardaway, and it's Jones in at the two-guard spot. Conley finds Brown. Harden outside. Here's the two-drop. Conley gets the bucket. And Steve, as we get into the middle of the season, do we good. have a good idea of who the contenders are at this point? The major forces, Kevin, you know for sure where they are. There are always some teams you can't tell if they're legit or not just yet. Yo, I don't know why Nowitzki and Porzingis rolled at the exact same spot. Like, can we get a little separation there? I need one guy to stop at the three-point line. One of you guys. And he knocks down the first one. And so Jones nails both of them. Oh my god, the fuzzing is and the Bitsky already switched. So annoying. The offensive rebound, Johnson. And foul on the shot. So oh, he'll get a chance why do they keep on. switching? Dirk Nowitzki picks up that. One. Yeah, easy call. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. I don't. There's like a glitch in the game where I can't get. I can't get Pozingas to stay at center. Shooting at about an 83% clip. Look, is that power forward? Who put him at power forward? So Johnson hits two of them. Here's Boston now. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. You, you know, it seemed like once it went to overtime, the confidence from both teams just really seemed to go in opposite directions. And unfortunately for them, they were on the wrong side of that equation. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Oh, what's up this defense? Can we get a little bit of help defense? What you like about Conley, he has a nice assortment of shots in that mid-range area. Here's Hardaway. He doesn't hit What? Nice D from Russell. Here's Harden. And Harden with the stuff. How did I not get that rebound? You want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And I need mean, to get them to miss a shot. That'd be nice. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Hardaway finds Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. 
And what a luxury to run pick and rolls with Porzingis. He can roll to the basket or pop out for that jump shot. Kyle laid the pass to Russell. Here's Harden. Uses the glass to Eddie Jones, what are we doing? I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. Now here's Jones. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And we're already seeing a little rhythm out of this offense. They've hit three out of four so far. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Well, earlier I spoke with Quinn Snyder. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. When we're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Devin, we'll see if that holds true. That's interesting, David. Thanks. The team believing Greg at success is tied specifically to how well they shoot. And how do you set that up? Run the plays the way they were designed and just share the basketball. And also try Come on, get on to him, run. Jones. What are we doing? From distance before the defense can set up. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. They get it back. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And then Hardaway. Let's go defense. Let's go defense. Dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just laying it in. He wanted to make a statement. Here's Conley after the basket by Boston. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. So Utah ends up going with the new group. The defense in the past minute or so has been pretty good, so. Ooh, I'm currently not in the playoffs? Come on, man. Half game out. Standings are shaping up in the East. You look at Boston. Right now, they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference. And, and you know, for Boston, this season has been, it, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings nice. and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Hardaway. And Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty, but with that southern draw, it sounded like Penny. Porzingis comes with the double team. Over to the left wing. Shot to stop the run. Ashburn no good. Austin leading by six. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in the zone. Here we go. Here we go. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Nowitzki with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Blake Mullen has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Here's Mashburn. Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Right wing. Now the feed to Bridges. Six to shoot. Here's Brunson. Damn, I lost him. Two points with his first shot this game. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Hardaway for three. Charge grabs the board. Out to Hardaway. Damn it. And that one released in time, but no good. And 
And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Hopefully my automatic substitutions didn't get reset. Every time I put Pozingas at center, like they never bring anyone in. The broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. But. And when you consider how the Celtics doing guys what do you think way to set the table offensively they dominated on the interior they came in looking to attack from the get-go willing to be physical and setting the tone so on the floor for utah they've got sharich jalen brunson out there with bridges and it's mashburn and it's a power forward now here's camby calling the miss shot by dennis smith here's hughes he can't get it to go. And Utah the other way now. And guys, this is the first they're seeing a Boston. Damn it, I could have. And you have to love it when there's a match. Ooh, I hit him in the like face. This. Two teams that are at the top. Ooh, what the hell was that block? He missed the right hand, came with the left. Look. This is going to be a fun first game between what? these two squads. Buckle up. How about that mobile one block? We that was crazy. Saw. Amazing defensive work. The emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Brunson scanning the floor. Charge passes to Mashburn. Oh shit. Mashburn playing power forward. That you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast table. Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring you didn't have your own network and the things that you, you take for granted now so looking back on it no but boy am i glad i did i am glad you did too you, you probably don't remember <laughs> this doc rivers and i were doing a game you came over to say hi to the two of us went back out on the floor doc nudges me and said he'll be great in tv someday. we saw it then he's a he's a good mind the man knows what he's talking about russell he's checked in for utah And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's the combination of athleticism, speed, and intelligence Smith Jr. has that's so impressive. Just a dynamic point guard with loads of potential. Now, here is Russell. An 11-point game for him in the win again. Come on, Jermaine. How you met, How you letting Jamal Mashburn get inside on you on offensive boards? Come on. Terrific. Hustle. You're a center versus a small forward. For the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. So you look at Tatum. The third spot in the voting belongs to him. There are very few players with his ability from long range. And it looks like he'll be rewarded. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm sure there'll be some changes in the rankings still to come. But you're right. I'd be surprised if there's anyone who wouldn't cast a vote his way. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Now here is Hardaway. Oh, oh, that was something else. Really unacceptable letting Porzingis get that kind of positioning. Once he's established, it's over. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. Down by 12. Oh, oh man. Come on, Porzingis. Why are you so far up on him? Two straight at home. All right, let's defense is, my defense on him is moderate, moderate. It should be nowhere near him. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft... Oh, shit! Ah, uh, I, like, let go of the button. Too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate... Transition defense, man. Get back. Interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Shut up. Hey, guys. Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. And the Celtics with possession here after the basket by Utah. 
Tatum down low. Browns there. That was a terrible shot. Jazz trail by eight. And the Jazz pushing it up now from deep Harden. It's rebounded by Porzingis. For Boston, they've gone two or six in the field in the second quarter so far. Oh, Tatum, can you stop boxing out for a second and go get the rebound? Seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Here's Harden, Porzingis with the block, and they get it back. That one good for two. Ashburn's All right, we need a timeout or something here. They're going on a bit of a run. 53 left in the first half of basketball. Now a timeout called by Boston. And coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And Utah making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. Number one, the Celtics. You really got to admire their conditioning. I mean, it takes fast break a points. major commitment to play that fast-breaking style, and they are all in. And so it's Boston with it. 144 left here in the second. Outside, Jones. Shot clock at what? five. What? Novitski with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Fades and shoots. Novitski, no good. All right, those are the shots I got to... Uh... look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Maybe the best ever at earning free throws. I mean, Harden has mastered the art of contact and still being able to get off the shot. And some changes here for the Celtics. All right, they're making a Brazil's, run again. And it's Cassell and for Hardaway. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Here's Cassell to the middle. Here's Willis. The shot's good, Cassell making the play. Willis has got his first two points of the night. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Conley. He had a 15-point outing in their last game again. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Jones against Harden. What? Lead has been cut back down again to six How did I from Larry Johnson. lost track of him? I was attached to, to him, then I wasn't attached so to him. So much attention, Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite level passer. And it's sent back by Russell. These pick and rolls are too easy. They keep leaving them open. They're gonna have to play it differently. Defense the Jazz. Six point game. From the high post. And it's good off the back rim and in. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. Brunson against Cassell. Come on, I keep sticking to Sarge. I don't want to. Tight defense on him. Takes a three. Good on that one. It could go. Ooh. And so it's the Boston Celtics. Defense was strong. Defense was strong. Into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return. If I'm hitting shots, they're not getting out in transition, so that's important. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see. Things were going Boston's way from the beginning. They put together some nice offensive stretches and at one point led by as many as 10. When the first quarter came to a close, their lead was eight. In the second quarter, they faced greater resistance but rose to the occasion to take the same eight-point advantage into the half. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. On offense, they've been very efficient. Taking good shots and hitting them. That's very important. 
Confidence has to be through the roof heading into the second. Half. And over to Kenny now. Your take on the jab. Well, after the field goal percentage they allowed in the first half. Forty-three percent. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. That's right, tough. If they're gonna stay in this game, they'll need to turn this into a street fight. Get physical. The defense is on let point today. Yes, let them go. Russell got six the rebounds. Jesus Christ. No more easy baskets in here. Let them know that. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Shaq was like moving his mouth, but nothing was coming out. What the hell? And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. What a game we're seeing from Penny Hardaway. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on, he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. And some of it's just a mindset. He came into this game with a very unselfish approach, and his teammates have benefited from it. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how about Kobe going to the Lakers. Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. We've got Tatum. Chris Depp Porzingis is out there with Nowitzki. Then it's Jones. And it's Hardaway in at the point guard position. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Nowitzki. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Knocked away. Ah, uh, that was a nice rip. It's stolen by Johnson. In transition, here comes... Oh, my God. The jam. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of the air. That's why I want Bozing is at center, man. What the hell? He's so goddamn good. Excellent at fighting his way through the defense there and still able to convert. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. He just like caught that ball out of midair. Oh, that's a bad free throw. And that one falls Holy Tatum. shit, that was so bad. Third pick in that 17 NBA draft after a strong rookie campaign. I think Tatum was going to be around for a while. Yeah, what's happening right now? Outside, Russell. Here's Conley. What? In the low block, and that one's good. Conley's got four this quarter. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Hardaway passes to Nowitzki. Tatum on the wing. Back to Nowitzki. Six on the shot clock. And Tatum ah. Brown. Good on the 13 footer. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. And, and Jason Tatum, he got a lot of the pub last year and deservedly so. But Jalen Brown made monstrous strides as well, especially when it came to efficiency. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Conley scanning the floor. Here's Russell. Harden trying to get open. Got it. And the Celtic lead has been cut back down to seven after the points coming from yeah. Russell. And you look They've at been hitting a lot of shots this, this quarter. Free throw percentage, Greg, both career highs last season. And Kev, his shot was never broken. The, the motion never had to be Why is this built? game pausing? Is it probably because I'm downloading something? Was that he would shoot the ball differently every time. Once he landed on the repeatable mechanics, you could see the consistency. Probably. Take form. Time 
call here, the I don't mind though. I don't mind. As long as it doesn't and crash. Is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And just flew it off the dribble. Great length to finish. And Hardaway attacking now with purpose. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Kyle laid the pass to Mashburn. Well, it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. How about that strong defense? It's a performance for this half's mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the Jesus. lead. Not with more offense, Just caught that shit. Big time D. And the Jazz making a change here. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. The Jazz working the ball around now. Lock at six. Back to Sharks. Over Nowitzki. No good off the front line. Celtics leading by nine. Outside Hardaway. A wide open look here for... Perzingis. Back to Hardaway. Fires the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Back to Bridges. Trains it from beyond the arc. Bridges has got his first three points of the game. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now, here's Tatum. Nine points in the game so far. Novitsky, good. A young guy with maturity, awareness, and a feel for the game. Tatum is special. Here's Hashburn. Goodbye, Porzingis. And that one clearly the foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Porzingis. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Jazz shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. I mean, I guess Porzingis can't block everything, right? On the season, they've converted Shoot about two. 77% of those foul shots. And the first one drops. Yeah, and Mashburn, really one of the more versatile. Yeah, Wally Wall. Four, we got Larry Hughes. Score, rebound, and pass all at a high level. We got Dennis Smith Jr. Jr. Good on both. 56 seconds left here in the third quarter. Smith up top. Brunson covering. Smith kicks to Nowitzki. And here is Serbia. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Sinks it. And the shot from Persingas. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. And the rejection by Smith. Second difference between shot clock and game clock. Serbiak, no luck. Jazz trail by 11. Ooh, nice play. Is that Mashburn? Two points. So kind of had to give that to him, right? That was a pretty good play. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. The Jazz shooting their seventh free throw attempt here, and Utah making a change here. Smith. Fires 
for three. The shot misses. That three should have been an easy one. And so it's Boston. In the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. All right, we got to come out with a solid, solid fourth quarter. Solid fourth quarter. Ooh, get out of here. Ooh, Porzingis. Go easy on him, Porzingis. Go easy. Oof. Oof. What's happening? There we go. There we go. Let's see what this fourth period holds. So many championship points. banners. Uh, I guess I'm not getting a nickel today. Al Harden and Utah looking at yeah. to start the fourth quarter. Cause that ain't happening. There with Harden, then it's Johnson, then there's Sharich, and it's Mashburn, and at the three, the small forward. Always going up for the LU here. What? And Harden is more than just a score. He's also got some sensational handles and All passing right. instincts. Loves connecting with his teammates. Smith, the pass to Persingas. Um, hello? Some solid defense well. from Sharich. No fouls, no fouls. That one's All right. There. The Boston lead is cut down now to just four. All right, we got to we got to get a bucket here. We got to get a bucket. Competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Hughes against Harden. Hughes the best to Persingas. Played in with a nice huge. Shot the glass. That was huge. And the Celtics lead by six. And you don't want to allow too All right, many of defense here. Yeah. Need right defense in the bounce. And the Jazz call time here. Austin making some changes. Jones comes in for Larry Hughes. Hardaway is subbed in for Dennis Smith. And Utah making a change here. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Quinn Snyder said to his team. He said, we're too concerned. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. We plead it with his guys. Come on, let's take a stand. Kevin? Thanks, David. Now here's Novitsky. And he gets it to go. And now it's an eight-point Celtic lead. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Hard away against Conley. Sweet little floater. And that's Conley's specialty. The floater deflating the defense right there. Austin leading by six. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Outside, Jones. Ooh, that was big. Harden went up for that pump fake, man. That was huge. To stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. I thought uh, Russell was gonna come uh, come over and block that, but he didn't. To the paint, Russell. Brown finds Russell. Damn it, damn Russell and his rebounds. And this is the problem: the the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses. All right, we're up by six still. Them into points. It's got eight points already in the fourth quarter, though. I'm not liking it. We're only halfway done with the first quarter. I mean, with the fourth quarter. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Right side, Tatum. Damn it. I was going to shoot a three, but the game glitched. It loose and taken away by Brown. They're running. And here we go. And oh, I was going to shoot a three, but the game glitched on me. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to download Destiny right now, and the game's kind of glitching while I'm doing it. That one 
falls for Johnson. Dude, they didn't miss any free throws in my last game. Are they going to miss any this game? Yeah, there we go. From the strike. Celtics leading by five. In the corner, Tatum with it. Back to Hardaway. In the corner, Tatum with it. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Big shot, Hardaway baby, big shot. Assists in the game. A terrific shooter with the range and confidence required to be successful. Tatum loves to let it rip. Now, here's Brown. Come on, Mitski, get on him. Pass to Russell, and Bill Russell slams it in. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Boston's gone three to seven tonight from three-point territory. Hardaway against Russell. Hardaway dishes to Tatum. Over ground, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You gotta avoid fouling Tatum in those situations. He's very clever at getting the defense to kind of bite when he attacks. Yeah, hoping that game finishes downloading soon. So either this can stop the sputtering, or I can play it. One of the two. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Down, down low, guarded by Tatum, and it's good for two. And Brown is just a physical beast, especially inside where he gets whatever he wants. That's to Persingas. Hardaway over Harden. Hardaway, no good. Jazz trail by six. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point in the game it's at. He's ready to shoot. That was a big three. I got to get a bucket here. In a good spot. They're on fire this fourth quarter. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're up by three. 55 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kenny Hardaway. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin. No doubt about it. He's got his field goal percentage up over 60. And you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. Oh, Jeff, what are you doing? Brown, leading the fast break. No one near Conley as he lets it go. That's bullshit. A tremendous three to tie it up. That is world class. Incredible. Come on, I had such a big lead. On the line, coming through for his team. Now here is Hardaway. Porzingis kicks to Hardaway. so good at setting up his teammates tonight though hardaway's been calling his own number and boy has he been prolific utah calls timeout they're behind by two there's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one there's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter johnson in the corner Here's Russell. It's in! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Muscle points count just like any others. That's a great play. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Brzingis feeling it out of it. Back to Hardaway. Five on the clock. Over in the quarter, Brzingis. God damn it. Here's Harden. It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and one of the most creative and, and taking a technical 
I don't even care. Last thing you want to do. The opposite of smart basketball. That's why you want him at the line when the game is close. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. And the Jazz call time here. So it's Utah who strikes by with a win. This win, such a tremendous emotional That's such form. bullshit. An accomplishment, an crazy finish to take a road game. Dude, they like scored 24 points in the fourth quarter. What bullshit.